This exercise is one of the most common ones that is done in a gym for trunk rotation strengthening, oftentimes called a wood chopper if it comes from a higher position down, or even rotation cables. And I'm highly critical of this because there's too much complete hip rotation and trunk rotation. The much better way of doing this is in a kneeling position for getting core stability, tucking the tummy under. You can use a cable or elastic, and the key here is lock the hips and rotation, end of range. And notice here, there's no hip movement. There's purely just core stability rotation. And it's not all the way through the range, by the way. It's much more effective end of range. This is a tougher exercise, much more control. You're not gonna feel a huge amount through the core, but that's actually where it's working rather than through the hips and, and a whole lot of different areas down through the lower legs. This isolates that area. Well, the key here is the take home message is to keep the shoulders dropped. Make sure you don't move the hips and purely rotate through the core. And when you think about it logically, these muscles, the uh, core muscles, internal, so transverse abdominis, uh, internal and external uh, obliques, the fibers are in this direction. And so the way that the five, the muscles actually move is they, they move in rotational, uh, rotational positions. And this is a highly effective exercise uh, to do from a good core rotation perspective. And we can use the cable in the gym, the adjustable cables to get it to about this level. We can adjust it and have almost like a wood chopper from a higher position, from a neutral position, or from a low position, and we find it much more effective in a kneeling position. If one of your knees is a bit sore, you can always do it in a position, one up, one down, and putting a towel underneath your knees. And we feel this is a much more uh, productive and useful exercise than the standing one, commonly seen in gyms.